It's almost too frightening to imagine this man obsessively stalking women, sneaking into their homes, assaulting them, forcing them to perform this bizarre cleansing ritual. But what may be most disturbing is who the attacker turned out to be, a man who understood what happens in the box all too well. That is, until he slipped up. This is always going to be with me. It was the worst night of 25-year-old Christy Mills' young life woken from a dead sleep by the outline of a large man standing over her bed with a gun. I was in shock, absolute shock. I looked at the door and saw the light there and something just didn't seem right. So that's when I saw him. And what does he say to you? He said that I'm only here to burglarize you. I don't want to hurt you, but if you scream, if you make any noise, I'll shoot you. And the next thing I remember is he was on top of me in the bed. He actually taped all the way around my head so that I wouldn't be able to open my mouth at all. Tape over my eyes. Um, so you couldn't see? I couldn't see, and then he took actually took the pillowcase off my pillow and put it over my head as well. That must have been scary. Extremely. He seemed very assertive when he talked, not like somebody who's, you know, panicking. He seemed like he really knew what he was doing. The man sexually assaulted Christy for 45 minutes, then shoved her into the bathroom. The water was running in the bathtub. I started to panic, and I thought he was going to shoot me in the bathtub. Just over a month from my 26th birthday, and I was going to die. Did you know why he was putting you in the bathtub? I didn't. I, I thought he was going to kill me there. Christy was forced to take a long bath, told to wash carefully as her rapist calmly walked about her apartment, hiding her cell phone and removing the sheets from her bed before slipping away. I got out of the bathtub, took the pillowcase off and ripped the tape off my eyes. I was trying to pull the tape off and couldn't get it off. I actually ripped hunks of the hair out um, to get it off. Um, and then I called 911. Two years later, across town, the rapist found another victim, his fourth. I awoke to someone coming in my room and... Sarah, a 27-year-old restaurant manager, was attacked by the masked intruder just six weeks before her wedding. At the beginning it was gun to my head, knife to my throat. Every single thing he did, he was physically threatening me. He knew everything about me. What my sister looks like to what car my husband drove, my work schedule. He knew where I worked out. Pretty much everything. As with Christy, he was careful, binding her hands and covering her head with a pillowcase. And again, like Christy, he forced her into the bathroom for a long soak to wash away the evidence. All I could think about was I can't have someone call my family, my fiance, my parents, my siblings, and tell them that I've been killed six weeks before I get married. Although the rapist had wiped clean the physical evidence, he could not erase the details Sarah had memorized about him. His height, weight, the um, way he carried himself, he had very distinct, bright blue eyes. I, I knew, you know, I, I would be able to pick them out as soon as I saw that person. This isn't the way we want this to happen, right? We want you to come down here and go and all kind of stuff. We said chat and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. You know, you went down with the same group, uh, the, the Miller group, and uh, as you know, we have rules that we have to go by. Just as you know, you're very familiar with all this stuff, you know what's going on, all that kind of stuff, and we want to talk about what's going on because we're not absolutely sure what's going on. Okay, um, what are you talking about? I have to read your rights first. I want to rest at this point. Uh, you're not free to go at this point. So I'm under arrest. If I'm not free to go, I'm under arrest. Well, we're in a custodial situation. That's why I'm going to read you your rights. Right? Because, you came, because you came down here in the, their car. 
I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know what we're going to. I don't know where we're going What's to go. What's going on? I don't even know what you're talking about. I understand that, Jeff, and you understand, just like I do, that I can't talk about anything until we get this little bit out of the way. Okay? All right. All right. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have one present with you while you're in question. If you can afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before you question if you wish. You can decide any time to exercise these rights. And I answer questions or make any statements. Do you understand these little rights I explained to you? Yes, of course I do. Okay. I have those rights in mind you wish to speak with me. About what? Okay. Last night, all right, there was a, a, an issue that came up, right, out on the uh, southwest side of town, right? You know what I'm talking about? There's a, it's a, I want to hear what you have to say about it, and I'm, I'm really hoping there is a good explanation for it all. I, did you meet up with the police officer last night? You're talking about Zeman. Yes. When I was walking around by the lake, looking at the lake down there. Again, I drove down there. I couldn't sleep. All right. Houses come up for sale in that area all the time. I'm interested in buying my mother in law a house. She lives up in Greeley. And she's, you know, she's poor. She's on fixed income. I want her to move closer to us. Houses come for sale. There's a town home right there for sale. It won't work. But anyway, I was looking to see what kind of access went down to that lake. That's all. All right. I was started walking around. I went parked, walked down, looked at the lake. When I was leaving, where did you park it? I don't know the name of the street. But it wasn't right there where you were at. It was by the lake. That lake is goes behind those houses. You know, you understand how difficult the situation this is for everyone involved, including yourself. Really? Okay. Yes, I understand. And irregardless of what you know, our feelings are towards each other and that kind of stuff, I, I, I think we've always got along. I think we've always been able to speak openly right. about that. There's just some things that happened last night that just doesn't add up. And you know. Jeff, you know, as a former investigator yourself, that there are things that we know, okay, such as the way that uh, uh, you met up with David, you know, you, you freaked him out. You freaked him out. Um, why would you be? Why would you be in between two houses looking at because looking I, at houses? I couldn't keep going straight. There's a drainage thing that goes down the lake. I couldn't keep walking, so I walked up. The dog started barking, and I'll help. So I walked up between the houses and go to the road. All right, he comes around. I thought maybe it was the homeowner. I was like, ah, I don't want to startle. You know, he startled me, so I turned to walk back down. He said, "Stop, police!" I was like, "Oh, hell, it's cop!" I turned yeah. around and walked back. Jeff, Jeff, why do you know of being a police officer? That that kind of that kind of thing is not within the norm. We don't, as police officers, we don't walk around at twelve thirty at night in the morning, walking in between the houses. Well, I walked walk walk between the houses. I was by the like the, I couldn't keep going, so I walked up between the houses. That's it. I mean, that is it. I, I, that's it. Yeah. Think about what you're telling me. I am thinking about what I'm telling you. The truth. I went down there. Look, what kind of public access is down there? I walked. I started going to the west side, but there's fences. Are, and I, was, oh, hell, I come back around the other way. All right. Again, I can't go no further. There's a drainage thing that comes down. It fills that like overflow. I guess I don't know whatever it is. So I started, you know, the dog started barking. So I walked up between the houses, go up to the road. And yes, to be on the road, so I'm not walking up between, you know, it's just... Well, wait, wait a minute. But you weren't on the road until I was you going to go in the road. All right. That's where I was walking up to was go up to the road, walk down to my truck, and drive away because okay. I was done looking at the lake. There's no access going down to the lake. So, okay, Jeff. Okay, Jeff. 
we're past the point of you were there, right? You readily admit that you were there yes. in between those two houses. Yes. All right. I was just walking from the lake up to the... Okay. If you get a call of someone walking in between two houses at 12.30 in the morning, I don't know what call brought him out there. Yes, of course. Of course. I mean, the person who called this in has every right in the world to do this. Correct? I have no idea who called it in. All right? It, what they called in wasn't me. All right? They said last night somebody knocked on somebody's door. I did knock on anybody's door. I did knock on anybody's door. I, Did not knock on anybody's door. I, I don't know what else you're trying to allege here. I, I don't want to jump to some kind of conclusion. Right? Well, All this isn't about, about because I was walking, I walked up between that from that lake up between those two houses. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You know, I, I don't know what else you're talking about. We're talking about you standing up with your back to the the house and that, and trying not to be Identified. What? Yeah, you're back up against the house and not trying to be seen as David walks by. I was walking up. I saw someone coming, so I stopped. I turned to go back. Again, I, the dog's barking. I don't want somebody to think I was doing something wrong. He said, Stop, police. I was like, Oh, hell. So I turned around and walked up to him. I wasn't standing with my back against no house. Well, I, I think you're minimizing all of it. I'm not minimizing anything. He said, stop police. I was there a little bit more than that. No, that's what he said. You didn't see the gun yet? Hold on. No. You were unaware that he pulled a gun on you. I did not know he did that. No, I did not. When I turned and walked towards him so we could see who it was, that I wasn't a threat. You know, his hand was at his side. He was like, we talked for, for what? We talked for a moment. What did you talk about? He asked me what I was doing. I told him what I was doing. That you were there to look for a house for your mother in law at 12 30 in the morning. I'm interested in houses in that area. There's that lake. I was looking to see what kind of access there is down to that lake. My mother's disabled. I mean, she, she can walk, but she can't walk too far. Well, I didn't see any access down there. I mean, off the coast, so I can go down there. But as far as a, a public sidewalk going out there, I didn't see one. I'm going to walk back around and then go to my truck and leave. See, you, you know all the, all the things we say. You've been sitting in this chair before. All I'm saying is that what you need to do is think about just exactly what you're saying. Before you, answer, before, you, before you jump back with a conclusion, Jeff, you need to think about what you're saying. You need to think about what the scenario was right there. Now, I, you may be honest with me. Haven't you been? I mean, I, I mean, I think I need to take a step further. Okay, because the lady scared to death. Scared. To I don't know nothing about the lady. But I'm, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, she was scared to death. She was an absolute basket case. It wasn't for me. What? Yes, you were in between the houses. You were in between the houses. What if this would have happened? I walked up between the houses. Zeman yeah. was there. That's the one time I went between the houses. What if this would have happened? Would you be a little bit concerned? But I don't understand what you're saying. The only time I walked between those two houses was when I was walking from the lake and up. And but that's what that's right. where you and that's when I met the Zemer. That's when, where you and Officer Zemer are different in what you said. 
But whatever the lady was scared of, it wasn't me. It was you. How could it be? I went down I was between the houses. When I walked up and Zemer was there, she'd already called. Jeff, Zemer had already been throughout the whole area. You were the only person there. It was 12.30 in the morning. It was 12.30 in the morning. The only time I walked up between the houses, like those two houses, was when Zinger came in. All right? I mean, I walked up between, I walked from the lake between the houses, there's Zinger. Honestly, I'm not the one scared of women because that's the only time I was there. But you wanted out of there quick. You didn't, you didn't stop and, you know, you said, I'm here looking. Do you think it, Let's just run all the way down the line. He's on a call. I'm not going to stay there and talk to him. With you. you. With you, Jeff. Think about it. I mean, it just, it is just right down the line. Right down what line? I mean, he's called out there. All right. There's nobody else out there but you. This lady has someone prowling around her windows. She's a very attractive young lady. It wasn't me. I wasn't prowling around anyone's windows. I wasn't prowling around at all. Again, when the dog's barking, I said, I need to go up by the road, and that's when I walked between the houses. Well, what makes you decide to go look at a house at 1 30, I mean, 12 30 in the morning? I wasn't looking into houses. I'm interested in a house in an area. I was looking at that lake. That is all. I mean, that's all. I realize I just do anything wrong. I I, I just, we, we as police officers and we as human beings know the the difference between right and wrong. It's yes. it's it is put in our head from I day, understand. day one. All right. I did not walk between that I Again, the only time I walked between those two houses is when I walked, when I was down on the lake, I can't get my front hand. So I walked up to go up to the road. That's it. And when I walked up there, somebody comes running. All right. What were you wearing last night? A t shirt, shorts, flip flops, and socks. Flip flops, sandals. Okay. Um, did your t-shirt have any writing on it? I don't remember what my shirt that was. What color was your shirt? Dark. The lighter shorts. I think they were my black shorts. Okay. Were you carrying anything else with you? No. 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 What were my car keys? Where were they at? My pocket. Jeff, I, I just, I would like, I, I understand that. And, then, and, and you understand how difficult this is for, I understand how difficult it is for you and everybody involved, I understand. I, and, but I didn't do anything wrong, but I'm a realist. I'm a realist. I understand. And I, and I think there's a whole lot more going on here than, than what, and 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 I'm and I'm not only Jeff to sit here all day long and and talk about it. I, I understand. All right, I do. There's something right here that you know. You're a police officer. You know right from wrong. And I understand. I think you did wrong last night, and you think you did wrong last night. And I need to know why you did wrong. Because there's I didn't do anything wrong. wrong. Walking up from that lane towards the road is the right thing to do at that point. I mean, I can't go for the dog. Okay, so I walked up there. I mean, I mean, if it wasn't for that thing, I just walked around the lake and went right back to where my truck was at. I mean, that is all. I'm not, you know, I'm not minimizing anything. You are minimizing anything. You know no, I'm not. I'm not minimizing anything. I just. Won't. I mean, I don't know how simple it is. It's not. It's, it's, not, it's not that simple. I didn't have ill intent of any kind. It's that's it. It's not that simple. I mean, that's it. It's not that simple. I mean, she is a young, attractive lady. I don't know very who she is. is. Um, and like I said, I, I know you know. I've seen you. I've seen how you 
Are you taking genuine interest in people? Okay? And I think if you knew what you did to this person, because I'm telling you, she's freaking right. did not do anything to her. You were there, right? Were you getting by there? Were you, did I walk up from the lake between the houses on the road? Yes, I did. Okay. You were there, right? Yes. Yes, I was there. Okay. You were confronted by Officer Z. Yes. Yes, he was there. I was walking up. Okay. Okay. Let, let's just go with this in chronological order. First of all, is there any reason that you can tell me why David Zeman would lie about this situation? Because I'll tell you what, he's freaked out too. Because you're one of his mentors. All right. You're one of his mentors. He is, I don't know how I freaked him out. You don't know how he freaked him out. Well, I mean, he couldn't even hardly talk. He was so upset by the situation. He talked about how you were, you know, one of his mentors. You were an FTO uh, training sergeant. All right. And I mean, he looked up to you. All right, I understand that. All right. And, okay, so getting back to the question, is there any reason why David Zimmer would lie about what happened last night? This, let's just I have no idea. I, I don't want to No, why would he lie? Absolutely. Why would he lie? I have no idea. Absolutely. He has no reason to lie. All right. As a matter of fact, he called off the second unit after he confronted you. Why did he lie? I don't have any reason to lie. Hmm. Yeah, I do. Everybody has their battles, and, and everybody has their crosses to bear. Right? I understand. All right, and you, you're, you know where we're getting at on all this kind of stuff. No, I don't. You don't know what you're doing. Right? I'm I talking about a, a, a young, very attractive female. I don't know who you're talking about. All right, she's the lady in one of those two houses. All right, I don't know. All right, I have no idea who's in lives in either one of those houses. Right. I wasn't interested in those houses. Right. I'm sure you had no idea who they were. Right. I wasn't interested in those houses. Right. You weren't interested in lake access. Right. Come, come on, Jeff. Right. I mean, yes. I mean, that's a, that is just a, it doesn't make sense to anyone. All right. It doesn't make sense. Again, does it? Yes, it makes sense to me because that's what I went there to do. Right. If I'm going to look at a lake access, I'm not going to do it at 1230 like that. All right. Poor choice of times, but that's why I did it. All right. I just walked down there. All right. You're, you're, what are you, 17 years? Yeah. 17 years of being a police officer. I understand. And, and, and you don't think that that is a a severe error in judgment to be all right in between two houses at 12 30 in the morning you all i was doing was walking from the lake to the road all right you're implying that i'm doing something mysterious between these houses and all i'm doing is walking from the lake up to the road i said I, that's exactly what i'm implying Jeff. that's it that's all because doing. officer zemer who has who you agree to says has no reason to lie about this Says that you were up against the house, and he had, and he had to, he had to call for you three different times. No, he didn't call three different times. And then you turned around and walked the other way. Okay. When I saw the figure standing, standing on that, I was like, ah, I just turned and walked back. All right. What did he? Okay. What did he say to you then? When you were turned around and you walked back, what did he say to you then? Stop, police. And what else was he saying to you? Stop, police. Let me see your hands. I don't recall everything he said. I just said, stop, police. I look. I realize, oh, it is, police. So I turn around and walk back. Right. I mean, I 
If I realized at first he was he was he was a zero, I'd have just kept walking right toward him. Right? But my initial thought was it was someone that lived there. I said, oh. right? That's it. Yeah, you know it's not him. You know, That's it. It's not him. That's it. Because the scenario doesn't fit. And you know the scenario doesn't fit. That's it. Yeah. And, and, and your comments also, yes, but I think you've seen me interview enough people that I'm just letting you know what I did. No, I understand. Something, something went wrong. I, something's wrong. I understand. You think something's wrong. Right. I. I'm convinced to make that something's wrong. Whatever scared that woman was not me. All right. The only time I walked in that house is, is when I encountered Officer Zimmer. That's it. All right. I wasn't there before that at any other time. Whatever scared her, whatever it was, all right, or whoever it was, was not me. I would, did not do it. I was not the one that was up there. All right. I walked up between those houses and boom, there was Zimmer. Okay. All right. All right. But, but again, it's just. It's, but I don't understand. You do understand because I understand. It is you're, right. you're sitting here trying. You're sitting there trying to say I've done something wrong. I mean, you're saying it. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything wrong. I I wasn't there doing anything with ill intent. Whatever started her was not me. It wasn't me. Okay. Let me just entertain you. But it wasn't. Let me just entertain you for a second, Jeff. Who was it? I don't know. I have no idea who it was. At 12.30 in the morning, uh, who was it? I don't know. I do not know. No one else, else has been up here telling us, hey, I went by that house at 12.30 last night, except for Jeff Pilo. And Jeff Pilo says himself, you know, I was there. Yes, I was there. All right. And Officer Zemer tells him, paints a different picture. All right. I know. And the lady at number nine, she paints another picture. I mean, think about it. All right. This is a, this is the only time I went up between those houses when I walked from the lake, looking at stuff. Right, looking for the. Did you stop? Did I stop where? In between the houses. I don't understand what you're asking. When I walked from the lake and walked up and, and met Officer Zimmer, did I stop between the houses? Prior to seeing Officer Zimmer, did you stop between the? No. I stopped when I saw the figure at the front of the house. It turned out it was him. I stopped, turned, walked away. That's when he yelled, stop, please. I was like, oh, just. Okay. So what you're saying is that you were walking in between the two houses towards Officer Zimmer. You saw him. You turned around and he said, stop, please. Yes. That, that's, that's the totality. Yes. That's the totality. That's the amount of time I was between those two houses. Okay. And let's go back to how. Officer Zimmer, what reason would he have to tell us something that wasn't true? Or why would he tell us a different story of what happened in between those houses? I have no idea. Well, we've already we've already established that he has no reason to lie about it. Right. right? We have no reason. I don't. Jeff, you know. You've done this long enough, you're smart enough. I don't understand. You know exactly where we're sitting here. Right. And there are things that you need to do, and there are things that you need to take responsibility for and get these things done. You've let me tell you, Jeff, let me tell you point blank. You've heard two people in the last 12 hours, and you've heard them deeply. In David Zeber and this female. Yes. I did not hurt that female. I, I did. I don't even know anything about that female. I wasn't the right time. The only time I went between those two houses is when I went below the golden road to go up the hill in the first place. But that's not what David is saying. I, I don't know what his perception of the situation was. He, he has. Did I pause and turn to go away? Yes. Did I realize? If I realized at first that it was a police officer, I wouldn't even pause. I'd have kept on walking. Period. 
I wasn't doing anything wrong. I had nothing to hide. If I'd have realized it was a police officer, anyone, Zane or anybody, I'd have just kept on laughing when he broke stride. I thought it was someone that lived there. I was like, oops. I mean, I, the dog was barking. You thought it was someone who lived there, so you were going to try to get away from the person who was living there? Well, yeah, I was black out and started to that. Look, I'm, just, right. I'm just telling you things that you're telling right. me. That makes I mean, sense. Obviously. It doesn't make sense. I, I'm just being real with you, Jeff. And I understand. I don't know what else to tell you. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I had, I did not. The only time I went between those houses is when I walked up and met Officer Zener. I did not do anything to anybody anywhere last night. Period. All right, I don't know what you're trying to allege here. I did not do anything to anybody at any point in time. All right? I'm not looking in some woman's windows. I'm not doing any of that. I walked down by that lake. When that's what you said a minute ago. That you were looking. You said somebody was walking around looking in this woman's hat windows. It was not me. Whoever it was, I have no goddamn clue. I don't. No goddamn clue whatsoever. I don't know that I said. You know, I don't know how else to say it. All right. All right. The truth is the truth. I've already told it to you, and that's that. I don't know what else to do. Excuse me for getting pissed off here, but I didn't do anything wrong. All right. I did not do anything wrong. Period. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know how else to do it. I, I don't. I don't. Well, as as it's happened in the past, you know that. And, and I'll just tell you. I, I'll tell you point blank. I don't think the story is exactly the way you're telling it. I don't. I don't know what Dave Zimmer told you. All right. I I don't know what his perception of it was. But the only time well, his, his perception is right on, Jeff. His perception is right on. Exactly right on. Again, I and, 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 and here and here's the real story of it all, Jeff. You're the one who has to answer for it, not David Zimmer. David Zimmer was on patrol. Answer. I'm not alleging he did anything wrong. All right. All right. I'm not. Again, I don't know what his perception of it was. I didn't do anything wrong. And I had no ill intent. All I did was walk in that lake and up between those houses. All right? You know, now that I'm sitting in an interview room and accused of being a criminal, obviously I should have turned and walked back 50 feet and walked up onto the, uh, the cul de sac that's right now. Cul de sac. Yeah, cul de sac is right there. Obviously, you should have done what again? I should have walked all the way back to where there's no houses and I walked up to the cul de sac. Obviously, that's where, you know. Looking back on it, perhaps that's what I should have done. I, I, oh my God! Is that how you came around? Huh? Is that how you came around to the empty lots to see the the spillway? There's no spillway there. No, uh, whatever you call that. At the end of the cul-de-sac, all right? Is that the way you went around? Originally, I started to come down off of whatever I can't remember which street is. You come down, all right? I didn't want it, so I walked up on the street, whatever that street's called. Uh, I can't remember the name of the street. Andy, Andy Court. Walked down to where that cul-de-sac is, looked at that townhouse, did not, I didn't go up to the windows of the townhouse. I looked at it from a distance to see if two-story where it was, if that's the one that was for sale. It was. I walked down by the lake, started to go on the west side. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to go that way. So I started to come around on the east side, walked around. That's where the little spillway thing comes down in there. I know what you mean by spillway now. I realized, okay, I, I, I can't cross that. That's my turn and walked up between the houses. Well, actually, I went down a little ways, realized that, went back. You know, one house had a fence, I believe. So I walked back. I guess it was one house, walked up between the houses, and that's when I met Officer Zimmer. Where, where, where were you driving last night? My pickup truck. I want you to take a minute and think about it. You get to talk about it. Because if you take a minute and you think about it, and you put all I don't have to think about it. You put That's all, what happened. You put all the things together, uh, Jeff. That happened. All right. I get it. And you come up to a conclusion. How it may seem right, is not, it's just a coincidence. 
It's yes. just a coincidence. I didn't do anything wrong last night. I didn't do anything to anyone. Again. You didn't do anything to anyone. I didn't do any one thing to anyone. Did anybody ever say you did anything? You said I terrorized two people. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do anything to anyone. All right, let me back up again and talk to them and let's see. Well, I put real things into real scenarios, Jeff. If this is happening to your wife, would you say that you didn't do any that, that person didn't do anything to your wife? I didn't do anything to anyone. I don't know what happened to what you didn't ask me. No, I, you're I'm asking me to make you asking me to make a comparison, and I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about as far as what happened to that woman. I'm not a part of it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I, obviously, if somebody was terrorizing my wife, I'd want to do something about it. I was terrorizing no one. I didn't do anything to anyone. Well, let me let me ask your definition of terrorizing somebody. Me well, walking from that lake and walking up between those houses. And meeting Officer Zimmer is not terrorizing someone. Okay, I'll, I'll right. give you that. I didn't. I'll give you right. that. That's the extent of what I did. Well, then, by, by the way, if if that's what happened, I'll give you that. No, it's not if that's what happened. Well, but we have others who say otherwise. Two others. Two others, Jeff. I mean, this is something that you're gonna have to. You can't just explain why. I can't explain. The, I didn't do anything. Let's go back to the, you define what terrorizing is. Terrorizing if someone's looking in your window, is that terrorizing? I wasn't looking in anyone's window. I I wasn't. Right. Did you see anybody else out there? No. I wasn't looking for anyone else. Right. I mean at, at 12 in the morning you would have been down with somebody else out there. Yes, if they've been down from where I was at, yes. Right. If they're up on the road or up between houses where I'm not at, I don't know. I wouldn't have seen them. I, I think we're I think we're getting mixed up on. But yeah, there was somebody else there. When I first pulled up, there's some woman walking her dog. Right on the street up, right on the street up there. Right, but you know, <laughs> I think we're getting two different. Ideas of what terrorizing somebody is. You keep on saying, I didn't do anything to that woman. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything to anyone. Okay. I'm not saying that this person was, you know, someone broke into their house or anything like that. All right. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that she was physically attacked or anything like that. I'm glad for her. I'm glad nothing like that happened. Right. However, but for a young female, Having someone looking in her windows or trying her doors is. A, a, but I didn't do anything like that. All right? I didn't do anything like that. Jeff. All right? I, I, Jeff. I wouldn't do anything like that. Jeff. Jeff. I simply looked at that lane, walked it between those houses. All right? If the spillway wouldn't have been there, I would have walked around and. Right? Again, I. I did not do anything to anyone. I didn't do anything to anyone. I know, that's what you're saying. That's what happened. Right? It's not what I'm saying, that's what happened. I didn't do anything to anyone. But that's not what two other people say. Right. What do the other two people say? Right. Well, A, Officer Zimmer, okay, his mm -hmm. sequence of events is a lot different than your sequence of events. A lot different. All right. And I'm mean, to the point, and let me reiterate, that you just flipped him out. Because I don't, I don't know how I flipped him out, but apparently he was flipped out. Yeah. He, he said you weren't yourself. I wasn't my star. I wouldn't be myself either if, if a police officer confronted me at 12 30 in the morning between two houses. And then we can't discount what the lady says. You know, her dog's barking its head off. 
Right? Yeah. Uh, down by the lake, yeah. Dogs Park is set up. Mm -hmm. And, right. Well, Chain Dogs Park, you don't know where it was at. Okay. I don't know what house the dog was at. It was just Dogs Park. And why does she have any reason to call down here and say, hey, this is what's happening in my house? Not once, but twice. And also calls her brother. Right, again. I don't know who was messing with the lady. It was not me. All right. Obviously, if somebody's messing with her in whatever fashion it was, I don't know. Of course she should call. Okay, but we've already established there was nobody else there. Thank you, Jeff. Never mind. I did not do anything. We've already established that you did not terrorize anybody, as you put it. I didn't do anything. Right. Obviously, my mistake was again, like I said, I walked between those houses to go to the road as opposed to going farther down. That's it. I know, and you know, it's more than that. There's not, no, there's not, not more than that. that. That's all. Uh, I did not do anything else. I there did not do anything else. I did not do anything to anyone. All right? You know, what specifically happened? I don't know. I did not. What specifically happened? Time I walked between those houses. I, I apologize. I don't know. Yes, I'm not going to apologize for being angry. I've been accused of doing something I had nothing to do with. You know, we're at the point where you know you—you have got to be thinking that this isn't some fishing expedition. We just didn't pick you out of the clear blue sky to come in here. All right. Correct. Honestly, again, the only thing I did was walk from the lake in between two houses out to up to the road. Out to off the road. The road. Uh, and when I realized somebody was up there, I was like, and I turned to go back, and that's what he said. And I, looked, I turned around and came back to him. Okay. But we're leaving out this. We're leaving out you. We're standing up against the wall like this. That did not occur. And an officer that did not occur. you twice. That did not occur. And then you no, turning no, no, and no. walking away. Did I turn? Your hands right here. And he no. says, stop. Show me your hands. And he has, and I mean, you've been in the ERU. I understand. You have been in, you're a weapons guy, you're a former military. I understand. And you're telling me you didn't know somebody had a gun pointed at you? He's backlit. I wasn't paying attention to that. You weren't right. paying attention to something. He said, stop. I said, oops, it's the play. I turned and walked up there. That's that. I talked with him a few minutes, and not even a few minutes. All right? You know, he's obviously on a call. There's problems here, Jeff. There's, there's all kinds of problems. And I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to sit here and tell you that it's all rosy and all that kind of stuff. But no. And you know where I'm coming from because I told you. I am not buying what you're telling me. I don't. One second. For one second, you know. Though I've done this for a long time, and you have done it for yes, I have. You have done it for a long time, and I and I have anything wrong. I know you. I know. And you know what? How many times have we sat in here and listened to somebody for hours and they're not doing something well, they did? I'm not going to be here for hours and then, telling you that I didn't do anything wrong. And then you know, have all the behaviors and all the things that are happening. You know, you were not Sergeant Hilo last night. You were absolutely somebody else. And we can sit here and you can say, this is what I did, and I can sit here and say, this is what we know till the cows come home. But you know, you know in your heart exactly what happened. Yes. 
Yes, I went down, went to that lake, walked between those houses to go back to the road and put down my truck, and that's what happened. That was the only time I was between those houses. And say when we talked to her. What was the last night? Did she know you were going? I don't know. She was asleep when I left. I was studying for the test we were taking today. I couldn't sleep. Shaved. Couldn't sleep. You know what? Went for a little drive while I was driving it. I went back to look at that lake. I told you why I was there. That was it. That was it. Did you have been looking for a house for your mother? We discussed it several times. Have you looked at any other homes for your mother? I've looked at some of where I live at, yes. No, we were priced for the sheep. All right, or they're not, they're not uh, ranches. I'd love the community further down from there, the one that takes care of it, very same, same style of houses. All right? But again, the little spits in the event, you know. In Downs. No, not in Downs. Farther down the street, down the street. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Down Stride, I can't remember the name of it. Is it treated there? Well, not community, community. Oh, yeah, right. it's housing got the little, Yeah, it's got the little building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got the little shacks for about $135,000. It's not worth that. But in this town, they're all, that's about the lowest you get. Unless I put my mother on the west side of town, I'm not doing that. And you say she's in Gribble now? Yes. I'm going to throw for her. She's looked, I've looked. And say, oh yeah, that would be totally normal for Jeff to do. Just to go at 12 30 in the morning and walk in. I can't and predict to you what she's going to say. You've been married to her. She has, she's the she's the mother of your children. I understand. I cannot predict to you what she's going to say. You don't think that she knows you? Yeah, she does. Is she going to say that that would be normal behavior for you to do? It's not. Is it normal that I do that? No. All right. Is it's we I don't know how else to say it. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't I and at some point at some point you've got a wife and I understand two children though. Again. Three children. I didn't do anything to anyone. Uh, what the lady was, I didn't do anything to her. I, I wouldn't do anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. Different lives. We all lead different lives. Again, I don't know what you're implying there. I, but I'm, but Jeff, I'm not implying. I'm saying. I, I'm so, I, I, don't, I don't lead a sinister life of some kind. I didn't do anything wrong. Wow. I didn't I didn't do anything to anyone. I don't I didn't do anything to anyone. I didn't I did not I did not I did not I don't I did not I I, I just don't think you're using good common sense right now. Honestly, what we went to your house last night, what common sense was it? No. I, did I have ill intent in my heart when I walked between those two houses? No. I, I, I had no ill intent in my heart at all last night or any other. Uh, all right, let me ask you. Let me ask you that. All right, let's, let's look at another scenario. Let me, let me, this night is going to look at another scenario. What happened last night is what happened. I did not do anything wrong. I did not do anything to anyone. And Jeff, I'm convinced right. that that is not exactly what happened. Okay? I've seen this lady. Okay, like I said, let me give you a different scenario. I've seen this lady. She's extremely attractive. I haven't seen her. I have no idea who okay. she is. As you're walking through the two houses, do you see anybody in the window? I'm not looking at the windows. I didn't see anything. I'm not saying you're looking at the windows at this point. I'm not saying you're looking at the windows. I wasn't even walking next. The house I was walking next to didn't even have windows on that side. Jeff, 
Okay, I know. Remember, I know the answers to my question. I understand. All right, all right. How far apart are these houses? I don't. I didn't measure them. I don't know. They're not very far. Your standard house, they're closer than your standard house. Yes, right. unless you go on the other side of town where they're really close to each other. The house I was walking next to didn't even have windows on that side of the house. Right? The house over there had windows. I didn't walk next to those windows. I walked over here. I'm not glaring or looking in anybody's windows. I walked in the way and I was walking up to the road. That's that. But that's not that. That's not that. Uh, you know, you're sitting there trying to convince me I did something wrong, no, 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 no. and I didn't. I didn't do anything wrong, Mary. You, here is the. I did not do anything wrong. I understand. All right. Here's the bottom line. I didn't do anything wrong. That's bottom line. That's not the bottom. Line. All right. I didn't do anything to anyone. Period. I didn't. I mean, you. You have to understand. I understand. Now this is a bad situation. A very bad situation. Right? I walked in the lane between the two houses going up the road. All right? Again, if I went over the spillway, I wouldn't even walk between those two houses. I would walk further down and walk up. At some point in time, I'm sure I would walk between the two houses somewhere to get up from that lane. All right? But again, when I walk between those two houses, it's I, I'm not doing it to look in any way. I'm not doing it to do anything other than get to the road. Period. I don't know how. Did not do anything wrong. I just, you know, in this situation, Jeff, you bought and paid for. Bought and paid for? I didn't do anything wrong. You know. You're just too much. Too much? Too much. Because, because everyone else has no ulterior motives or ulterior means or anything like that. Neither say something, something that isn't true. Neither do I. This, this gal would have just assumed if Jeff Hewlett had never come into her life. I wasn't in that day. I'm saying I, I don't even know if that ever is. I can't even tell you which house she was in. All right? I don't know what car he went to. I didn't ask him in the car. He came to your car. And you know that. Whoever that lady called on was not me. I did not go between those houses prior to the time I walked from the lake it up. All right? Whoever, whatever she's saying, it was not me. I have no idea what her allegation is. I have no idea what she's saying, but it was not me. All right. It wasn't me. I know. That's, I know that's what you're saying. I know that's what you're saying. It was not me. I didn't. Well, even, when, even besides the two people that we have seen, and one of them being your own, you're even telling me. No, it was her. Did you? I didn't see anybody else. I'm not going to sit here and nitpick everything. I didn't see anybody else. Absolutely need to nitpick. I didn't see anybody else. Again, I. You've heard of this before. But I'm going to tell you. Because I know from the amount of interviews I've done, from the amount of interviews you've done, that. And there's no doubt in my mind. There's a hole burning through your chest. I didn't do anything wrong. I know. I mean, you can sit here and say whatever you want. I did not do anything wrong. But then your perception, you may, you may think that you did anything wrong. It's not a matter of my perception. It's a matter of reality. I didn't do anything wrong. Whoever was terrorizing that woman, I have no clue who it is. All right, it's not me. I don't know. I don't. Uh, the only damn time I walked between those houses, right, Jeff, was the time I walked up there. You got a lot of explaining to do. I've explained it. I don't have a lot of explaining to do. Yes, you have explained it. You have a lot of explaining to do. And 
and I keep on going back to this because I have to go back to this because you know what it's like to be sitting in this chair. I understand. Okay? All right. And I know there are times that people are really telling you the truth. And a good interview will figure that out. All right. I don't know. It. I'm not I'm telling you the truth. I didn't do anything wrong. I had I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. But you also know, right, that a good interview would sit here and know when someone's not telling you the truth. So yes, you're right. All right. Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. I'm sorry. All right. And your perception of me right now is I'm not telling the truth. Not just because not just because you're sitting here telling me that you didn't do it. It's because we've got a whole host of other things that says you did it. And that's what you're dealing with. Oh, uh, I didn't do anything wrong. And you I understand didn't do anything to anyone. Period. I don't know. I didn't do anything to anyone. Period. Period. I didn't do anything to anyone. And you're you're gonna have to, you know that the best places to clear things up are right here. Yes, you're right. There's nothing to clear up. There's nothing to clear up. I mean, I, I there's nothing to clear up. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything to anyone at any time. And that's the story we're going to say. It's not the story, it's the truth. Because that's all we're going to say. If, if it comes to a point where we have to go to a judge and say, I didn't do it. I'll tell the judge the same thing I've told you. The only time I walked between those houses and I walked from that way up towards the road. That's it. That's it. I, You know, you're, you're just not listening to reality. You're just not listening to reality. You're only, the only thing you can say is, hey, is I walked from the lake between the houses to the officer and I didn't do it. However, I had the police officer, I had the victim, I had the elderly in the area. I, I mean, it just, it's not looking good for Jeff Greenwell. I did not do anything to anyone. And this is just a case of mistaken identity. I didn't do anything to be. I didn't do anything to anyone. I know that's what you say. I know that's what you say. And then I say, pause. And I know better. And we always use these lines, these cliches. I did not know it's true. true. I did not do anything to anyone. That your guts are just screaming at you. No, they're not. Because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything to anyone. Period. I didn't do anything to anyone. Anything to drink right now? Maybe go back again. 